Hey everyone, if you're like me, you find the new Star Wars canon to be lackluster and unfulfilling. Journey with me to a galaxy far, far away as we look back at the expanded universe, which filled our imaginations and kept the Star Wars franchise alive for decades before the likes of Rey and Kylo Ren debuted on the big screen. Journey with me into the Legends of Star Wars. From Solanian Farmer to Imperial Cadet, to Rebel Spy to Jedi Master, few individuals have lived the life Kyle Katarn has. Born on the Celestian Moon of Solan, Katarn was the son of a powerful, yet untrained, Force adept named Morgan Katarn. Katarn joined the Imperial Academy on Karita, where he would become a decorated trooper for the Empire. Katarn would begin to become aware of his latent Force potential even saving the lives of many Imperials under his command. Conducting a raid on the Rebel base located on the asteroid AX-456, Katarn would meet Rebel agent Jan Ors, who would become a significant figure in his life. While on Corita, Katarn learned of the death of his father, who was killed in a supposed Rebel raid. It was only after meeting Jan Ors that he would learn the truth. Morgan Katarn had been a Rebel sympathizer, captured and interrogated by the Empire before being executed by the Dark Jedi Jarek. Upon hearing the truth of his father's demise, Katarn left his life as an Imperial behind, joining the Rebel Alliance. Katarn's first mission for the Rebellion would be to retrieve the technical designs for the Empire's first Death Star. Katarn would succeed in his mission, however the plans he stole were not complete and further information would need to be acquired by the Rebellion. After the destruction of the Death Star, Katarn would be sent by Mon Mothma personally to investigate the Rebel Massacre on Tele, which would lead him to uncover the Empire's secret Dark Trooper project one year after the Battle of Yavin. A year after the battle at Endor, Katarn would be visited by the specter of Jedi Kuran, an Order 66 survivor and friend of Morgan Katarn, who met his end by the Dark Jedi Jarek while on a search for the Lost Valley of the Jedi. It was Ron who told Kyle of his Jedi potential, guiding him to the Lost Valley located on Rusan, where Katarn would defeat Jarek in single combat, releasing the souls of Jedi trapped within the valley for over a thousand years. Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker would seek out Katarn and offer to train him in the ways of the Force, but Katarn would decline until personally returning from the dark side after refusing to kill Associate Mara Jade. When Skywalker founded his Jedi Academy on Yavin 4, he once again offered to train Katarn, who would finally accept. Katarn would leave shortly after, still fearing the call of the dark side, but would return after Jan Ors is presumed dead, sending Katarn headlong into the path of the dark Jedi Dasan. With the defeat of Dasan, Katarn would become a Jedi Master in his own right, instructing students Jaden Kor and Rosh Pennon during the conflict with the disciples of Sith Lord Marco Ragnos. He was an invaluable strategist for the new Jedi Order during the Yuuzhan Vong invasion, even serving on Luke Skywalker's Jedi Council. For more on Kyle Katarn, play the Star Wars Dark Forces and Jedi Knight series from LucasArts. If you want more Legends content, click the thumbs up or subscribe buttons, or just leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all for the next Legend.